Norwalk City official accused of killing a tenant she had a contentious relationship with will not get her bond lowered. Today, a judge denied that request by Ellen Wink's attorney, citing graphic cell phone video the victim recorded of his own murder. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter reports from Stanford Superior Court. Ellen Wink remains in custody on two and a half million dollars bond. During the hearing, Judge Gary White admonished Wink for shaking her head no and mouthing the words not true while the state was arguing. Then later in the hearing, White ruled against her. Ellen Wink visibly disagreed as she learned her bond would not be lowered to its original amount of $1 million, despite her attorney telling the court he had new evidence that bolsters Wink's self-defense claims. This case is not the open and shut case that the state says it is. Wink is charged with murder in the deadly shooting of her tenant, Kurt Lametta, at a house she owned on Nelson Avenue, January 20th. In court, her attorney said an audio recording from another tenant has Lametta making threats against Wink and using homophobic and anti-Semitic language. The type of person that says that is a person at a minimum, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to sort of realize this, that people would be afraid of. But Assistant State's Attorney Michelle Manning questioned the audio's reliability and countered, it's just words, no violence. Unlike the video, the state recovered from Lametta's cell phone showing the moments leading up to his death. Manning said Wink was unprovoked and not in danger when she shot him five times. There is clearly in the state's view evidence that Ms. Wink is dangerous. And that's what we're here for today. She is a dangerous individual who acts out on her feelings. Manning added she thinks bonds should be doubled to keep the community safe. Judge White ruled it would stay as is, calling the video extremely graphic and the state's case very strong. Attorney Seeger called the decision disappointing. You take a look at bonds across the country right now for murder cases. What can I say? I guess only in Connecticut. $2.5 million bond from $1 million because of a quote graphic video. I think it's unfair and, and we're going to be seeking whatever legal remedies she has to address this point and we're going to be doing it soon. Attorney Seeger told me he may ask an appellate court to review Wink's bond. He also requested Judge White consider a 10% cash bond that will only be taken up if and when Wink sells any property. In Stanford, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut.